Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I know we're running a little bit behind. Um, it's just been extremely chaotic and crazy, not only with everything that's happening worldwide, uh, but we are actually being been extremely busy. Um, so anyways, let's get into your reading, Gemini. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We got cards popping out already, Gemini. All right, let's see what's coming towards you for this month, for this month of May 2020. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see what Spirit has for you guys. All right, in regards to your finances, you have the Page of Wands. I see a lot of you guys taking on new opportunities, new ventures. For some of you guys, it could be working on specific projects that are definitely going to bring or render you a lot of um, financial stability. The Page of Wands could also represent being on a new venture. Perhaps some of you guys even contemplating or thinking of doing side jobs or things on the side that could bring money into uh, your home or bring more stability towards you. Uh, pay, in, uh, pay attention to your intuition because I see you guys getting a burst of energy with a lot of ideas that could potentially turn into something uh, very good that's going to bring you a lot of financial bliss. So keep that in mind, okay? All right, let's see. In regards to the element of air communication for this month, you have the Queen of Swords. All right, Gemini, good, good energy. Uh, this is your energy, Gemini, and for this month, you're going to feel more like yourself. You're going to be able to communicate. You're going to be able to really express your emotions in a uh, very Gemini way. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, this could also represent um, being able to expressively uh, express your emotions in a way where people really could be very sympathetic to your needs. So what I mean by that is if in the past you've had experiences or difficulties communicating or even being able to uh, have your partner see you um, or understand you or where you're coming from, because you could be or tend to be hot and cold sometimes, Gemini, I definitely see them being able to really understand you and know where you're coming from. I see you guys extremely focused, walking or going towards some type of goal or aspiration that you guys are both working uh, in like in a partnership, not just relationship wise, but in a very good partnership where you guys tend to motivate each other. So that's definitely a good thing. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, um, I do see you guys give being more open minded in regards to the people that are coming in. I see you guys not so judgmental, very communicative, uh, your natural nature, which is that of a childlike type of energy, uh, very giddy, very bubbly. Um, and again, like I said, communication is amazing for this month. Now, in regards to your obstacle to overcome for this month is the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords could signify uh, resisting changes for some of you guys, um, even in regards to, as an example, what we're currently going through on a global scale in regards to the virus and everything that's going on. There is a lot of resistance on your part. For some of you guys, it could be that you don't want to change certain things. Uh, for others of you, it could be the fear of like accepting or understanding that we there's like a new a new norm nowadays. The best advice or not advice, sorry, the best example would be like when we have to go to the stores and make sure that when you were grocery shopping or whatnot, make sure to like wear a mask and protect ourselves. It's kind of like I see you guys very like like really like complaining about that but what spirit is telling you here is embrace these new beginnings because it's not only protecting you it's not only protecting those around you um but in general when it comes to every single aspect of your life you're best off uh being excited about embracing new beginnings because you're setting in motion a positive uh vibration that is only going to reciprocate and send to you positive experiences, okay? All right, now finally, in regards to love and romance, you have the Knight of Wands, okay. So I see a lot of air and fire energy here. Knight of Wands could represent dealing with a fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. For others of you, it could just represent like really being very intense and passionate with your partner, even taking some time or a specific day to you know, um, call it like a, a, 
like a date night or something like that, even if it's just staying home, making dinner for two, that type of energy. I definitely do see you guys very sexual, very like the passion is very strong and it's going to continue growing for this month of May. So definitely a good thing. For those of you guys that are currently single, I do see a new person uh, coming in for some of you guys. This could be a person that is connected to someone that you know. Um, but I definitely see them like really interested in you, but at some point they were kind of standoffish or kind of trying to get a feel for you. For this month of May, they may actually come out and tell you that they're interested in you. Um, and I think that on your, on, on your side, you're definitely going to, it's going to throw you by surprise, but it's also going to be a beautiful surprise because I definitely do see you guys very excited about this new beginning. All right, so finally, let's see what spirits overall message for you guys is for this month of may oh okay we have angel of balance okay so for this month of may i think balance is going to be very important balance not only in regards to uh, finances balance not only in regards to making sure that the passion is flowing in regards to love and romance um, but really putting effort and time uh, with everything that you do in life, whether it's romance, whether it's family, whether it's work and finances, whatever the situation may be, Spirit is telling you just make sure to be balanced, balanced in the sense of don't overwork yourself to the point of exhaustion because then when you come home, there's going to be lack of energy and not really focused or perhaps not even paying attention to your partner. So it's all about balance, you guys, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we will see each other soon. Hope you guys are taking uh, good, taking care of yourselves and your family. Please stay safe, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.